It was negative. And I'm going through a lot too, often. But I'm, I'm staying put together. I'm still giving, you know, praises off God go to my Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. He's keeping me together. I fell apart today. Yeah. But I'm asking for everyone to keep me in prayer.
Because if you, uh, if you believe it, you'll be lost. Amen? So, so this is the same kind of rebuke that Jesus did. Because they, they heard it all out of the open. Amen? And those that were to receive that, especially his apostles, if they were to receive what Peter was talking about, saying, Jesus, be it far from you, that you should die, and that you should follow up the scriptures and live this, this life, huh? And, 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 and be put to death, huh? then, then God forbid that that should happen. But it behooved Christ to suffer. Uh, it behooved him to die. Uh, because it was necessary for our sake. And that you know, we needed him to die. Uh, we needed him to not only die, but to be raised again on the third.
whosoever shall will save his life. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. All right, now, but seek to be cautious uh, and being a witness. Uh, I'm going to lose my life. All right, read. But whosoever shall lose his life uh -huh. for my sake and the gospel's, the same shall save him. Paul, uh, the apostle Paul, was a dangerous individual uh -huh. because he had in his mind whether to live is gain and whether to die is gain. Yes. Uh, either way, I'll live that I'm a winner. Yes. What he was saying is if, if uh, 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 I'm giving my life totally unto the Lord. Amen. Whether they, whether they kill me, I'm, I'm, I'm still a winner. Uh, and whether I die a natural death, I'm still a winner. Why? Uh, because I'm giving myself over to the Lord. Amen. And that's the way we've got to see this thing. That means that, 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 that I'm going to live my life to the fullest unto Jesus Christ. Amen. More All right. Oh, uh, you must go live. All right. Uh, you must go kick off the brakes. Uh, uh, stop, stop with the excuses. Amen. And live this thing. Uh, to the fullest. Uh -huh. Of him also shall 
Amen. We are our witnesses of the truth because we literally believe on them. Amen. Of the apostles. We believe on them. Don't we? Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. And, and we are effective witnesses through what we say and how we live our lives. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. The greatest witness that, that you can ever perform is the way you live before the Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, you can teach a lot of things with your word, but you really teach by your life. Come on now. Yes. Yeah. Amen. That means something. Amen. Amen.
to, to realize that God has called us, God has anointed us, God, God to be witnesses. That's all part of his plan of salvation. Why? Because he wants people to believe. He wants people to be saved. He wants people to be set free. And the scripture says that we are co-laborers. That we are workers together with him. Now, those tears was caused by those temptations. 
Amen. We that the Lord has put into the ministry, we ought to testify of the Lord. Amen. That should, that should be our focus. Yes. Now, you may say, uh, Lord, if we it's all able by the ministry, you should never work out as all of us that are in Christ. Yes. We are ministers of Him. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. If we focus more on Christ, we will live a greater life. Right. Yes. When I take my focus off of the and put it on the cares of this world, mm -hmm. amen. If I if I put it on the cares of myself, mm -hmm. amen. If I don't cultivate what God has given me. You don't cultivate what God has given you and focus more on that. You, you, you have a great deal of hurt and sorrow. Yes. So what do you say about that? Let me just make it plain. We ought to, especially coming into the body of Christ, we ought to focus more on Him and less on ourselves, less on the world. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things that you desire shall be what? Added unto you. The Lord said in the month of verses of chapter number six of the book of Matthew, check it out for yourself. Be anxious for nothing. Huh? Don't be anxious. Don't be worried. Yes. Uh, God knows that you need uh, things. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, he knows that you desire things. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. uh, but he wants you to focus on him. Yeah. So, so when he blesses you, you'll be more in love with the blessor than the blessing. Amen. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 Thank you. Y'all ready? One other point. Like you know, I'll, I'll get you. One other point. You remember when Jesus, after he got, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, I ain't going to say, uh, after he got filled with the Holy Ghost and, and then uh, was driven into the wilderness, fasting 40 days and 40 nights, and then the back of the Bible says he was after the word of hunger, then he was tempted by the devil, and then, and all. But what was in the world? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. And Jesus vehemently rejected all that. Said, get me behind these things. Huh? That's what we got to do. Huh? We got to focus more on what, what God has. The things that be of God and not the things of this world. And when the enemy offers uh, those things to us, because he's, he's, he's working off of our lust, yes. our evil desires, yes. uh, you control your evil desires, you can walk with God. That's right. <laughs> oh, and somebody will write that down yes. and check. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 
because he took his focus off of Jesus. Huh? Uh, then he called on Jesus. And Jesus saved him. Come on now. Hallelujah. Want to get Hallelujah. We've got to keep your back. He said, in the world, Jesus told us that. He said, in the world, you're going to have tribulation. Yeah. Amen. You need to, we need to look up that word tribulation. Amen. In the world, you're going to have that. Many, many storms, many hurtful uh, 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 situations. Huh? But he said, in me, you're going to have peace. Yeah. And that peace is look at that word peace. Uh, it comes from the word shalom, which really means you're going to have provision. Everything you need is going to be provided for, which gives you peace of mind. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like when your mind is at peace, you don't care what's coming your way. That's right. When your mind is at peace, all hell can break out, but you don't need a blessing assurance.
to direct your path.
this church. Amen? Yeah. My job and the elders that are with me, our job and leaders is to help feed this church. Right. Amen?
Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. That's the job. That's the responsibility. That's the call. Right. Feed him. Right. Read. It says unto him again the second time, Simon, uh -huh. son of Jonas, yeah. lovest thou me? Uh -huh. He said unto him, Yea, Lord. Yea, yeah, Lord. Lord. I love thee. You know I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time. Yeah. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Mm -hmm. He was grieved because he had said unto him the third time. Now he's convicted. Now he's convicted. Now he understands. Now he's repentant. Yeah. What does he say? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yeah. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. It's important. Amen. That we feed the sheep of God. Feed them. Do you feel? I don't know. When they went to the high priest's palace, one of the disciples went in the palace with Jesus, and Peter was left outside. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and while he was trying to warm himself up, that maid said, Hey! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, got, I don't know, I, I was reading that a little bit, and I was thinking, you know, why? who were the other disciples that went in? And Peter didn't go in and stuff. I was just wondering. And stuff. Yeah, you know. But we have to search that out. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Go with me over to uh, Psalm 78. A 
defeat Jacob and Israel is in heaven. When King Solomon was anointed king, the Lord visited him at night. Yes. Uh, and said, Solomon, ask of me what you will. Mm -hmm. uh, Solomon said to God, God, bless me. Uh, because I want to know how to go in and out among your people. Yes. Because your people are great people. You are a great people. You are a honorable people. Why? Because you are the people of God. And that thing so moved God. God said, Son, I'm going to bless you with that wisdom and knowledge and understanding that you desire, but I'm also going to make you a rich. Why? Because you didn't ask that of me. You didn't ask that.
You got to do things, especially if you desire. <laughs> now, now, maybe I should have prefaced this in my sense. <laughs> Go ahead, God. Especially if you got a dishonest back.